Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, uh, we got more episodes of Grimm, and it looks like it comes out on late Fridays, so, um, this video will probably be coming out on a Sunday around the same time Bodento comes out, because that's the only thing I really drop on Sundays, so... Um, to get right into this one, this episode felt so quick for some reason to me, and it's probably because, like, I actually really, um, don't mind the character art style, and because of that, it makes me kind of just, like, blow through episodes so, <gasps> so quickly, I don't even notice that, um, I'm about to be done with an episode until... The halfway marker all of a sudden sneaks up on me. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, this week's episode, we get to actually see some pirate action. Hint, hint, while I'm on uh, this little uh, pirate swimming adventure. So I thought that was actually pretty cool that they truly, truly are going um, with some stories that seemingly do tie to certain fairy tales and other ones that just kind of have a, a certain hint of a, like a tale and stuff like that but in this week's episode we pretty much learned that chaos tellers can practically be the best actors in the show like by far these guys are supposed to be trained to find chaos tellers and they're straight up telling this guy or calling out what a chaos teller is and this man is acting like he like nothing's happening. So, uh, honestly, I thought it was hilarious, in my opinion, to see these guys pretty much go out of their way to assist somebody and go on this adventure. Well, mainly only one person really wanted to uh, do this, so it kind of fall. It kind of all fell back on him when all of a sudden it turned out that the guy we we're trying to help this whole time is the same person we should probably be taking out um, and that's what I mean by like best actor of the year this man like literally just fit in like nothing and after fitting in the whole time uh, just ends up like <laughs> you know ends up just pretty much getting some other kid that really was supposed to be the one with the book turned into a monster right in front of him because he wouldn't touch the treasure and yeah it, it's just it's just ridiculous how much um like intelligence this man had <laughs> this week's episode compared to the heroes um sure he did lose but he only really lost because uh the guy the guy bust the guy that actually wanted to help him out the most out of everybody ends up pretty much learning a new move but for some reason that move helped him uh, see the light and actually want to you know stop what he was doing or at least go down a different path seeing how he's being defeated right now so why would he then continue to uh, you know go down the same route if it if it didn't work but that's what I was thinking anyway. I'm like, oh man, he lost. He's he's definitely gonna give it up now. He can have a better life if maybe he <laughs> doesn't get, you know, put sent to jail or whatever since he didn't die. Um, so that kind of like hints, asks, or like begs the question, what happens to chaos tellers after, uh, you know, they're most of them are defeated. Do they usually get beaten and like die and pass away or? As we see the godmother in last week's episode and now this week's episode, I don't think neither of them actually died, died. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what these guys, um, can do, or I guess they just won't cross the barrier of doing that. So, that's kind of like my uh, interpretation. It's just they're actual good people, so killing is kind of against the whole good aspect um oh crap i can just collect money 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 um but yeah i truly thought that 
when it came down to the overall show or the overall episode that it was too good to be true like there was no monsters no one was you know getting kidnapped throughout it uh we were seeing some traps here and there but everybody was getting out of the traps relatively fine you know so all of these things are happening and what happens when it comes to find out that the, this person that was on top of a hill that kind of seemed like they shot uh, an arrow the way that they're like hiding and you know looking deceitful or whatever you however you want to play, put it they end up practically being the actual person we were supposed to be helping in the first place and silver turns out to be uh, the chaos teller and seemingly the monster that silver tells us about when he quote unquote uh, faked to be drowning so he would get rescued um, he straight up tells us that a monster got onto the ship and destroyed it when the other kids per uh, interpretation is he was that monster and he destroyed the ship so <laughs> take that picture of like the Loch Ness Monster and ripping it up and blowing it up and all that stuff and even the story that he then goes and reads off that isn't his own um, or maybe it was like a fabricated story I guess you, you can say uh, it's just interesting to me that once all of that takes place the kid uh, you know gets he lives through it like he literally is the actual story of you know what was supposed to happen and i think that that was done on purpose because if the kid died wouldn't the book of faith just stop being like relevant or his book in, in the, that instance you know so it was like pretty much an obvious way for them to say uh silver was pretty much smart enough to keep the person who needed to have the book uh, for the treasure alive not to mention uh, uses that same code and book of fate to then trick him into touching the gold that he set out to find in the first place which was the captain of silver ship I guess and he might have lit that story might have been true but it was just what happened to Captain Flynn's ship and not the ship that he actually got onto and literally destroyed everybody to get to Flynn's treasure. So, um, overall, it's like this is a lesson in a, and I guess not really much of a lesson either. Because after all this is done and whatever he did to those people or destroyed that ship, he then gets to go scot free because, uh, he just escapes he literally escapes and the guy who pretty much was tricked into helping do all of this stuff uh, the guy who was tricked into helping him in the first place straight up watches it happens and just like ah, he never learns and then that's just it <laughs> so I don't know if there was a lesson to be learned here for them but if there was they most definitely did not learn it at all. Uh, freaking Donald just killed himself by jellyfish. I guess ducks can't swim good underwater. Um, but yeah, amazing, amazing uh, show that we're getting. I really didn't expect this show to be able to uh, just keep incorporating random uh, folk, like folk tales and fairy tales and stuff like that, and then kind of make it suspenseful or make it kind of mysterious when all of a sudden everything's going well and the person who we're you know dealing with has the perfect map and all these things are going well just to come to find out that the map wasn't even his either he stole it from that kid that we find uh jack later on i think that was his name but yeah <clears throat> amazing stuff guys we are in for a treat with the rest of these animes that are going to be coming out for the rest of the year like holy crap 2019 is about to be 
one of my favorite years of anime, seeing how we're going to get a lot of returning stuff that we haven't seen in quite a while, like uh, One Punch Man and stuff, and not to mention probably see, uh, see some things in the sense of, uh, dang it, see some things in the sense of uh, everybody who is dropping these new animes or these new a adaptations of older animes are just killing it. I I'm actually truly happy to be in this generation of anime. Sure, I'm not too happy to be in the generation of certain stuff that's going on in this world, but at least the anime is on point right now, and that's the more than enough for me right now to keep me busy and occupied. -o. So, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, drop a like and subscribe if you are new, because I do drop daily content, uh, and if you are watching this on Sunday, I will be dropping... Uh, slime and another show so if you are looking forward to any of that uh slime and mob mob psycho and uh fairy wait no that'll be tomorrow trust me i got that daily content you don't want to miss it sometimes my schedule gets messed up because i got so many anime to remember but with that everybody thank you for the support and i will talk to you in the next one all right Peace.